The topic of discussion that we'll be dealing right now is we'll be dealing about adult polycystic kidney and ch childhood polycystitis kidney. So here the thing that we'll be discussing is these other things that we will be discussing. So without delay, let's move into our topic. So from the word it is clear that what is this? This is our poly, right? cystitis that means there are multiple number of cyst right multiple number it is polycystic i have been yeah. saying polycystitis uh, so we'll sorry we'll for mistake adult polycystitis so adult that means it will appear in the time of what at the time of adulthood here this adult polycystitis it is our autosomal dominant it is autosomal dominant disease right and there is what is going on here is there is mutation in one gene right at the time of birth but there is also going to be mutation at somatic cell of kidney during later life as a result right as a, re, uh, uh, as a result even it is example of autosomal dominant condition but mutation in both gene are required or the mutation in both gene the one that is present at the time of birth and another at the time of what at the time of lifetime in somatic cells somatic cells so both both these mutation are required for the manifestation of disease itself okay now uh, as i've already mentioned this is what this is autosomal dominant right this is autosomal dominant condition yes yes we have already mentioned polycystitis that means multiple number of what multiple number of cysts as you can see in these diagrams these are having multiple number of cysts and this is bilateral bilateral in nature that means it will affect both our both the kidneys it will affect both kidneys it will what to it will affect both kidneys both the kidneys Okay, now talking about the genetics of this um, our adult polycystitis kidney. Talking about the genetics here, uh, the main thing is there will be what there there are two genes. One is PKD1 gene and PK2 gene. This PK2 one gene PK PKD1 gene is located in chromosome number 16, 16P, and this 16 will memorize it in such a way that if you just um, see the alphabet of polycystic and kidney here you will find 10 alphabets and here you will find how much 6 alphabets so 16p is the location of pkd1 gene and the function of pkd1 gene is it codes for polycystine 1 protein it codes for polycystine 1 protein and talking about pk2 gene pkd2 gene right pkd2 gene it is located in chromosome number how much 4 Q, the short um, arm of chromosome number 4 and it codes for polycystine 2 protein right and since 2 right you can memorize 2 and 4 you can memorize 2 and 4 <coughs> and body right since it is adult polycystic ion that we're talking about adult that means bigger that means body 1 2 3 4 right 4 okay this is the way of memorizing it now talking about this specific proteins the polycystic ion 1 and polycystic ion 2 the polycystic ion 1 it is mainly expressed on distal tubular tubule cells distal tubule cells and it plays role in cell cell and cell matrix interaction it is only present this polycystic ion 1 it is it is expressed on distal tubule cells and play a role in cell cell and cell matrix interaction talking about polycystic ion 2 it express on the cell of all nephron every cell of nephron and plays a role in calcium channel functioning right okay we talked about what polycystine polycystine 1 and polycystine 2 uh, protein right and since we are talking about what we are talking about genetic factor for causing our adult polycystic kidney the polycystine 1 right there will be mutation in our this pkd1 gene and pk2 gene pkd2 gene uh, because of mutation in these two genes what will happen there will be what there will be alteration in cell cell and cell matrix interaction and there will be alteration in what there will be alteration in calcium channel functioning okay now mutation in these evolved gene what they will do is they will call they will they will cause increase in cell proliferation 
and that will cause increase in secretion and there will be the formation of cyst and this is the mechanism of cyst formation okay let us move toward this diagram here yes we talked about what mutation in polycystin 1 and 2 or fibrocytic or nephrocytins and this cause what all this cause alteration in mechano sensation by tubular cilia there will be altered calcium flux yes we have talked about uh, calcium what calcium functioning uh, in polycystin kinin 2 protein right and these will eventually cause altered tubular epithelial growth and differentiation there will be what there will be excessive cell proliferation and that will lead to cyst formation right there will be increase in fluid secretion also abnormal extracellular matrices will also be increased that will cause eventually cyst formation and this cyst what they will do is they will cause glomerular vascular damage they will call in they will they will it will cause interstitial inflammation or fibrosis deposition of fiber so this was about what this was about genetic factor of adult polycystic kidney now moving further what we have is we have here the cross feature talking about the cross feature yes uh, what will happen here is as you can see right here right the both of the kidney both the kidneys both the kidneys will be enlarged both the kidneys will be enlarged that means this there will be bilateral enlargement of kidney and there will be multiple cyst more than one cyst multiple cyst and these multiple cysts will be located in cortex and medulla in both region yes the in cross feature the point that we need to mm, we we are not tend to forget is that the first one is that there will be what there will be bilateral enlargement by lateral enlargement Bilar bilateral enlargement of kidney and another thing is what there will be involvement of cortex and medulla both and there will be the presence of what and this bilateral enlargement why it was happening it was happening of multiple multiple cysts right multiple cysts and there will be variable lining in cyst also right there will be variable lining of cysts also okay this was about what this was about the gross feature yes there will be bilateral enlargement kidney there will be the bilateral enlarge, enlarged kidney there will be presence of multiple cysts present in cortex and medulla both region there will be variable lining of cyst that's all now talking about clinical feature right talking about clinical feature the thing that we need to know is it will be asymptomatic it will be what a uh, symptomatic or symptomatic till adulthood adult life right and why because as we have said that this is the feature of our autosomal dominant condition and another the most common manifestation is the flank pain flank pain now what is this flank pain it is abdominal pain sometimes there is more secretion in cyst and there can be the condition of hemorrhage in cyst because of which these cysts are going to increase in size enormously that can cause abdominal pain or the flank pain and this is the most common manifestation of our what polycystic kidney right it all polycystic kidney now another clean uh, another clinical feature is there can be bleeding that may cause hematuria hematuria there can be what the presence of the protein in urine and that is our protein urea protein urea right okay so we talked about what we talked about this clinical feature asymptomatic till adult life right flank pain hematuria there can be hypertension condition because of alteration in renin and justice in mm, system there will be the presence of protein in urea the urine that is protein urea now talking about what extra renal manifestation that means outside of kidney what are the things that will be involved outside of kidney there will be the most commonly the liver will be what affected liver will be affected we have got spleen we have got pancreas we have got ovary in the case of female and the lungs is extremely um, extremely rarely it is rarely what affected similarly there is no cyst in brain and it is most commonly asked question that there is no involvement of cyst in brain right now another important condition that is baby and where reason what is this it is what is this this is um, problem in visual wall in what our cerebral circulation right this very any reason in our cerebral circulation there is problem in visuals 
uh, vessels well okay and that is what our body aneurysm and another condition that we need to know is about cvs right cardiovascular system there will be mitral valve prolapse mitral valve prolapse and similarly talking about GIT there will be clonic diverticulosis right clonic diverticulosis now moving toward the complications the hypertension coronary artery disease is the most severe complication and it may lead to death also right mortality right and there will be the increase in infections there will be increase in nephrolithiasis and that is uric acid stones uric acid stones there will be increase in renal cancer right okay renal cancer um risks of renal cancer and talking about the treatment of our this condition since it is genetic condition there is no um, specific treatment but what is our aim is our aim is to keep the control of bp to have what and the final treatment course is the renal transplantation okay this was what this was about our adult polycystic polycystic kidney adult polycystic kidney now moving toward childhood polycystic kidney the thing that we need to just correlate with above adult one is that adult one was our what our autosomal dominant but this is our autosomal resist um, our what autosomal resistant right recessive and here the gene right here the gene that are responsible to cause childhood polycystic kidney is our pkhd above our it was pkd here pkhd one type gene that is located in chromosome number 6p right long arm and we'll memorize it as butcha that is one two three four five six right okay this is childhood but i mean childhood so 6p chromosome long arm of six that is present and if there will be mutation in pk at d1 gene there will be what there will be fibrocystin defect now what is this fibrocystin defect it is what mutation in protein this our fibrocystin is protein and there will be mutation in this protein right and we have known that if relating upward upwardly in adult polycystic kidney there was mutation in polycystin 1 and 2 right polycystin 1 and 2 but here there is mutation in fibrocystin fibrocystin now here the mainly organ involved are our kidney and liver talking about the involvement of kidney what we have is there will be enlarged kidney right and there will be multiple cysts present in cortex and medulla and talking about another important feature and that is here that is our right here what is this this is cyst present at right angle to cortex right and this will be a sponge in appearance and this is the most what distinguishing feature there will be cyst present right angle to right angle to our cortex cortex okay now another thing that we need to keep in our mind is there will be cyst right the cyst um, that will have epithelial lining the epithelial lining of cyst will be there it's, that will be mainly on tuboidal epithelium right that will be on tuboidal epithelium this was what this was about kidney involvement now talking about the liver involvement there will be cyst present in liver and it it will and it is it will cause what congenital hepatic fibrosis that may develop what is splenomegaly that is secondary to portal hypertension and it is what it is so fatal it is of bad prognosis now there is one special um, it is also uh, our this childhood polycystic polycystic uh, right kidney is also a uh, um, what cause a uh, portal sequence now this portal sequence is the condition in which what in which there will be oligohydraminos right because of oligohydraminos that means less but our less gestational fluid am amniotic fluid in uh, our what gestational is because of which children child will fall um, child will suffer from what pulmonary hypoplasia facial anomalies right okay okay here you can see what is this yeah the oligohydrominos is one of the cause main major cause of portal sequence okay now this was about what this was about childhood polycystic kidney and we we talked about adult polycystic kidney also so this much for this late topic mm -hmm.